Hello, Henry from Belgium here. Today a video about LEGO set 6375 Trans Air Carrier from 1990. I bought this on a Belgian second-hand website, purely based on one blurry photo, where I only saw this box. The seller asked 25 euros, plus 5 euros shipping, which seemed like a bargain to me. At first I thought it would be an empty box, but the seller assured me that there were definitely bricks present. But he couldn't tell me how many. I decided to take the chance anyway, and here is the result of my purchase. I am pleasantly surprised. Unfortunately, and that is a pity about this deal, the inner box is missing. But if this is a standard size, then I might be able to add one from the loose inner boxes that I still have as spares. The outer box is in a nice condition with bright photos and the typical 90s artwork. It is an absolute added value that this is included, together with this manual in good condition. Four pages printed on both sides with colorful photos. The building process is explained in different clear steps. The minifigs are also always shown so that you can check whether all the details are correct. I have a pilot here who can be found in 14 sets. A beautiful print of a uniform with gold buttons and a black cap. And then an airport employee who can be found with this specific printed torso in nine sets. The color of his cap or pants can be different depending on the set. In this combination with blue pants and cap, he only appears in four different sets. These are classic minifigs from the 80s and 90s that I always like to add to my collection. The pilot is in a good condition, but the other one is a little bit discolored and unfortunately has a crack in the arm. Furthermore, I see quite a few parts. There should be 208 pieces. From what I see here now, I can assume that I have made a nice deal. And with a bit of luck, the set is complete, so I will discover that today. I have already looked up information about this set on Brickset, so I know what to look for. I can tell you right away that it is a town set with the sub-theme flight. It's a theme that appeals to the imagination, and I like to collect that. I also like the fact that it's a cargo plane and not a passenger plane. But above all, there is a fun play feature by means of two small vehicles that can transport cargo. So it's not just the umpteenth aircraft, but one specially designed for cargo transport. The two small vehicles are easy to build and do not contain that many parts, but I do like the design. There are some slope bricks incorporated which give them a nicer look. I also think the colors are well chosen. The red goes well with the yellow of the goods and also with the white of the aircraft. What I do consider positive is that grey has been chosen as an accent for the forklift, and I am not used to that, especially with this part. Up till now, I have only seen it in a black version with a yellow fork. When I look it up, I notice that this is actually a rare part. It only appears in two other sets in this specific color. Note that the grey is light grey and not light bluish grey. Normally there is a clear difference, but if the light is not quite right, and depending on the wear, dirt or discoloration, I sometimes have doubts myself. Then it is best to take some light bluish gray parts for comparison. And now you clearly see a difference. In 2002, Lego decided to release light bluish gray bricks from that year onwards. Many classic space and castle fans were shocked by this, but in the end they had no choice but to accept that decision. By the way, the other parts of the plane must also all have that light gray color because otherwise the set is not 100% historically correct. The reason why I'm telling this story is because there is also a light bluish gray version of this fork, which you can find in airport set 10159 that was released in 2004. So pay very close attention to it when you buy secondhand vintage sets. It is also important that the spring is not broken or rusted and that there is no general damage and everything still works properly like this one. The forklift has no classic steering wheel, but two levers. Also nice is the finish with the mini ladder and the two modified one-by-one -one plates with light attachment. 
This one does have the classic steering wheel and just space for one container. It is a pity that the vehicle does not have an extra row, in which a flap or closure could be incorporated. But on the other hand, this way you can easily load and unload them with the forklift. And here on the side, there could have been a nice print or sticker. What I notice now is that the previous user has put stickers on these bricks, but they do not belong to this set at all. Although, I do not think it is a bad idea. I remember these stickers from a train set, where they were glued over two yellow 2x2 two two bricks. What I find very positive is that three of these crates are provided as cargo, but unfortunately, there was no budget left to provide extra tiles or transclear bricks that could be inserted into these parts as goods. And apparently, there was no extra budget for a third minifigure, so both vehicles each had their driver. But I certainly don't want to sound negative, and I think it's great that there are two extra vehicles in this set. It's an absolute added value, and increases the playability of this set enormously. The plane has a very classic structure. I built several of these models in the past. But the difference here is that there are no seats and the floor is covered with tiles. This model is equipped with a hinge system so that the cargo can be loaded not only from the side, but also from the rear. No classic steering wheel, but a brick with a nice print for the cockpit. Furthermore, classic windows and more basic bricks, and I am pleasantly surprised by these wall panels. There are two with a cool print. Indeed, no stickers, but nice colorful prints. You can find these only in one other set, so they are quite rare. I already placed the pilot in the cockpit, because with this model you cannot open the roof. I think that it is a pity, but that is how it was designed at that time. For the rest, there is a folding roof on the side, and even one on the back. The landing gear is also nicely put together with some different bricks and four separate wheels. It looks sturdy, and it fits perfectly at the bottom in this recess. And at the front, there is a wheel which is mounted on a turntable brick. Furthermore, I also really like these parts. They represent engines, and they look impressive. This actually consists of two separate parts, but if you buy it secondhand, it has always already been assembled. They have some weight, and the disadvantage is that they come off easily while playing. The condition of the white parts is not fantastic. I even see that a child has scratched the wing with a pencil, but I don't see any significant discoloration, so it can all be cleaned. And finally, there is this part. This has the same print as on the wall panels, but slightly larger and on both sides. It's a valuable part and can only be found in this set. So nice that I can add it to my collection today, and especially in this good condition. This cargo plane will be a very nice addition to my airport set 6392 from 1985, of which you can also watch a video on my channel. So the result is great. And now I will test the playability. I do experience some small problems. Again, I do not want to sound negative, and it's ultimately designed for children who may not have any questions about this but you can't really get the containers on and off the plane smoothly. You always need an extra hand to load them from the fork into the plane or from the plane onto the fork. The cargo space is designed in such a way that the container is clamped in, which I understand. The goods must not come loose during the flight, but as you can see, you can't get them out of the loading space with one smooth movement using just the forklift. You actually have to take them out by hand and put them on the fork. But I am glad that I have discovered this set. It has a lot of plus points. A large plane with two opening roofs and an opening tail, and two extra vehicles with goods. And especially the nice prints are a pleasant surprise for me, because when I bought the set, I thought they were stickers. The engines and the landing gear are impressive, and I also like the color palette. It's again the classic red and white, but there are nice light gray and yellow accents in the set. 
I have to clean the set a bit and find an inner box, but after that, it's again a nice piece of history that I can add to my collection. Feel free to comment below this video and don't forget to subscribe, it's free. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.